All right, someone was asking about SS7, and um, that was pretty interesting. I was kind of familiar with SS7, but not really any of the tools and techniques and um, for vulnerability assessment, so on and so forth. Uh, ended up leading me down a bunch of rabbit holes with videos that seemed to uh, suggest they were going to show you something, but it was completely unrelated. So um, I'm going to show something here. Uh, we'll show two things. We're going to show Sigploit, and then I'll, if I have a time, I'll show some other tool I'm looking at. Sort of unrelated, still to do with GSM. Uh, but I have this page pulled up here, GitHub page, and I'll put this in the description. This is a live version of Focal. Uh, I did mess up one thing, um, but I'm not going to reboot and start all over again. Uh, Pretty much pull open a terminal window. You're going to need a few things installed. Um, some of this uh, will already be installed. It's going to look like everything's installed for me, but just to be safe, install what you see here. And uh, I guess I should point out so Sigploit is a uh, Sydney security testing framework dedicated. Uh, you know, so on and so forth here. Uh, pen test and exploit vulnerabilities and the signaling protocols. Uh, so I don't have access to a real SS7 gateway. So this is going to simulate both a server and a client. We just need to get it set up. So clone the... We're going to clone this. Just do it right in our home directory. Change into SIG point. Take a look around. We need to install some additional requirements, just like I'm doing here. Okay, everything's installed. All right, what we're going to simulate is uh, an anytime interrogation uh, message, and you'll kind of uh, see what the result is going to be here. We need to take a look at our location tracking anytime interrogation server. This is where the uh, jar file is going to be to start this up as a uh, simulation. Take a look at the readme instructions. I have these annotated down, but you're going to need this. Some of, you're going to need this information here uh, when we go to set up our client side. So for now, in this window. We'll start the Anytime Interrogation Server. And we'll let this run. Actually, hang on. Before you start that up, uh, because it's going to be looking for those IP addresses that were in that file, let's do this. Let's see. So let's do it in, on another window so you can see it here. But we're going to add a couple IP addresses. And I'm getting these straight from the uh, IP address, sorry. Straight from that conf file I just had open a second ago. This will allow the server to bind to this IP address and as well as the client. So, all right, now we should be okay to start the server. You'll see some warnings and such in here, but that's running. You can see, it should you should see this initialized TCAP map and yeah so now we need to do the client side and that is in we'll change it uh, into Sigploit this is seven attacks tracking ATI okay there's our other Java file Now this is where we're going to need, or we're going to enter the information uh, that was in the COP file.
some of these uh, settings here like local GT you can uh, look this up online to learn more about what that actually is just like with the MS ISDN should match what was in the Oh, yeah, in the README instructions. Let's see. Nine, six. Okay. All right. So we have those set. And we're going to run it. And you're going to wait, and you'll see what the result of this is going to be. Okay, it's locating target. All right, well, there you go. I had to actually run it a couple times, um, just like I showed. And there's the uh, info that you get back. So, cell ID, MSC, the HLR. Yeah, it's probably rent <laughs> been running about that long. I tried it a couple times. Um, I ended up, you can either go directly in and call the attack directly, or you can use the uh, menu itself. Um, I'll do it, uh, I'll do it one more time. So this is, um, this is, uh, if you use the, actually we'll just, just do it from here. So if you just do Python sigploit, you go SS7 location tracking, anytime interrogation, and you're going to have to type it in. It's pretty sure it's emptied out. Yeah, so
All right, I'll let it go one more time. So that is uh, SS7 there. Uh, now you could do other uh, examples that are in there. Uh, I just chose to do that one. Okay, now let's take a look at one more thing here. Alright, I saw this while I was messing with this SS7, um, just another tool uh, for capturing MZs and actually SMS. And then you can see the program was made to understand how GSM works. Uh, I'm not responsible for any uh, activity like it says there. So Let's go ahead and well, at least check it out, see how it runs here. Put it right in our main directory here. Uh, I'm going to leave logging and SQLite 3 off. I'm just going to do this here. Okay, we're going to also need T Shark. We've already got GRGSM. Not really interested in the calibrate. We'll come down to Change into the directory here, and we should be able to. Now, I'm not going to run grgsm and all that. I'm just showing how this uh, can be installed. Uh, let's see. Probably going to have to do. All right. So that's up and running, and we should. Be able to go to local host. Uh, it didn't seem to work when you actually hit this SMF. Uh, the link here, you just click this one, and you'll see the different things are starting here. And then from here, I think you can click back and forth between the two. Yeah. So. Uh, be interested you know if anyone says that uh, actually works or not just follow the directions like it says uh, like you typically run uh, GR GSM you can find the uh, frequency you can use this here refer to my other videos if you use anything more than an RTL SDR you are gonna need to uh, specify the device and I show that in uh, other videos just show real quick. You'll need to actually use the args here. So, for example, say you were doing, you put in whatever frequency here. Just the args, and then I believe it is just something like this, HackRF, or whatever device you're using. Alright, and... Uh, Thanks for watching.